Don't lay it in. He's probably going to chew my ass off. Hey, guys. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, so, back from day one right here of New York Comic Con. Um, I've been back for past <laughs> three hours, four hours. Um, but um, I kind of want to just show off a little certain things. Um, you can't see my face this time around. But, um, yeah. Uh, the first day of Comic-Con was more of a treat just to walk around, look at the floor, look what was there, but also meet and greet and see some of my, get a couple of my books signed by some of my favorite artists and writers. Uh, I can clearly say as of right now, the biggest highlight of this year's Comic-Con for me was meeting my friend and fellow YouTuber, um, Comic Uno. You probably heard of her. Um, if you haven't, you better ask somebody and subscribe to her channel and read her comic. Um, yeah, I met her and for the first time ever, a lot of people have been asking, like, we both live in New York, so how come we never met? And it was a meeting that was fated to happen, kind of. <laughs> so, uh, as always, thank you, Kat, for that. I, that was a pleasure to meet you. Um, but here I, I just wanted to show off some books that got signed by some of my favorite writers and um yeah so let's go down the list um so met peter david once again and i had him sign uh two of the issues of his uh, phantom run that he did it was a short mini series but um, i'm a huge phantom fan he's my second favorite pulp era hero and uh yeah i got him signed by it, it was funny because he actually was reading this <laughs> for a short while and he's just like wow like it was amazing he, i guess he thought i was gonna pull out you know scarlet spider or something like that or spider-man 2099 or many of his other works but i pulled out phantom he was kind of shocked um by that but yeah uh, it was great to see um but that was my third time meeting mr david i met mr david before um the, the in 2016 17 so it was good to meet uh, I met the father of um, Savage Dragon, uh, Eric Larson, um, and I uh, had him sign one of my uh, the issue of a book he had put out called uh, Mighty Man, and he 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 was kind of shocked at that too. I, I thought he I think he thought I was gonna pull out some Savage Dragon, but I, I kind of surprised a lot of my favorite writers with other works that maybe don't get enough spotlight so yeah he had signed it he actually told me also some cool i think i'm gonna upload it too it was short but he explained to me how he came up with the idea of savage dragon and i'll put it up um i'll upload it here as well but it was really cool it was funny but some of the stuff just it was just really weird um what i can tell you because it wasn't on the vid um, the way he came up with, it, he said Savage Dragon was actually a knockoff of Batman. <laughs> like that's where it gets crazy. But yeah, um, I have some of my Death of Wolverine signed by Charles Soule. That was my second time meeting Charles Soule. Um, as you can see right here, nice dude, Mr. Soule is. He told me some very, very uh, heartfelt news in terms of. The Man Without Fear, oh, God, I, I really wish he didn't have to tell me that. Um, so he had signed some Death of Wolverine, uh, his Uncanny uh, Inhumans. I might take this book back, so because I, I think Steve McNiven is at Comic-Con. I think I missed him, and I want to get it signed by him as well. I uh, met Greg Pak, second time meeting Greg Pak, and I had him sign uh, his the John Wick uh, series for Dynamite. Um, that was really cool. Uh, met Amy Reader once again, and um, uh, I don't know why that's in there. Uh, <laughs> um, and she had signed it. I met Amy Reader three times now at Comic Con. Very lovely woman, very nice. Um, and she signed Rocket Girl number one for me. My Rocket Girl number one. Uh, Jody Halster. She signed the Faith. Uh, but she signed it inside. I don't feel like taking it out. <laughs> um, she signed a lot of my Spider-Man uh, Renew Your Vows. Uh, you could see her signature. Where is it? It's right there. Right here. Um, here's some more. She signed it right there. 
she initialed it and she initialed it here there you go um she initialed there right there she loved writing mr sinister she talked about she told me about that a lot um told me a lot of ideas that she wanted to do with the series and you know but editorial said she couldn't do it kind of sucks uh like i said she also signed my faith number one i think this was the second run um this character faith is actually getting a movie you know she's the first plus size uh super heroine really cool character too um uh crosswind um i had cat stag uh sign it um because last year i was it was all about her the writer gail this year i wanted to make up for it and get cat stag to sign some of my crosswind i like her artwork very realistic but kind of painted she was really nice uh you look on my t my twitter you can find it um steve orlando i uh, signed my shadow and batman um nice guy too um i'm taking this issue back tomorrow um to get it signed by david finch because this is his art um the finches will be there uh friday so i'm going to get that signed uh by david some more steve orlando he loved the shadow and i was really uh, that that did my heart good to hear him say that because this guy right here is my favorite all favorite number one pulp era hero the shadow i love it um i had al ewan very nice dude he was very nice dude um al ewan i met before and he had signed the first four issues of immortal hulk um as you can see right here um issue number one that was issue number two is issue number one he signed issue number three no that's four excuse me here's issue number three he signed that um i had joe casey uh sign the first six issues excuse me of sl xl uh the new speedster in the comic verse i always love seeing new new speedsters being introduced joe casey if you never heard of him he's basically the, the creator of uh ben 10 so there you go we talked about ben 10 a lot too um i'm, I'm not a, i told him i'm not a fan of this new one and he he was cool with it but um yeah he signed all six issues he was loving the covers i told him this one this one's my favorite issue five uh very good joe casey signed that and issue number three and then i got jim zub uh jim zub another nice nice dude um, I'm going tomorrow. I'm definitely going to buy some of his his created work tomorrow. Um, today was just all about just getting signatures and meet and greet. Um, yeah, so he had signed the 20th anniversary special of Thunderbolts. Um, it was really good to have him sign that. And he, he told me some good stories, too. I had um, Eric, Eddie, Ed uh, Brinson, who is going to be currently getting ready to write X-Force and uh, Uncanny X-Men. Um, he had signed the cable, uh, the cable, uh, issue, um, you know, this is the foil. He, I told him not to write on the foil, write it inside. It's inside. I'm not going to take it out. Sorry. Um, and Fred Van Lint, he was another guy I met before. Um, very good, good guy. Um, was telling me about, you know, uh, growing up in Cleveland, left Cleveland, um, now he lives in Brooklyn and, you know, how his parents are still love LeBron, no matter, even though he left Cleveland. It, it's so funny. Uh, but uh, his uh, Generation Zero, this was a good series. Um, I wish it was still going, but it was very interesting. And Tim Seeley signed uh, Injustice versus Master of the Universe. I brought two issues. Tim Seeley is another guy I met before. Um he signed a couple of my books, well, not last year, but the year before that. Uh, so I had him sign issue one and two. Um, and more Fred Van Lint. You know, he signed my uh, War Mother. Uh, but yeah, and that was about it. Uh, other people I wanted to meet, I just didn't get to meet. Um, like uh, Terry Dobson was there. I, I probably, I'm definitely going to say hi to him and. I get a photo with him. Um, 
Sarah Pacelli. She was just extremely busy. Um, so I didn't get a chance to meet her. Um, Marjorie Lou was there. You know, I, I, every time I would go by her, her desk, she was just too busy. Uh, so I'll definitely meet those people tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show off guys. Um, some of the, the people, I, uh, the people that signed some of my books and things like that. Um, I'll get some more. I have a couple more in my, my bag down here. Just, uh, <laughs> just need to be signed. Um, but day one was just more about, um, just meet and greet, um, tomorrow meet and greet and purchase some items. There's a couple of independent, uh, books that caught my attention as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show off some of the signatures I got, uh, from Comic-Con this year, uh, day one of New York Comic-Con 8, 2018, um, was a fun ride and success. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, you'll see, I'm just, I'm just putting up tons of photos of what my time was and there's even a photo of me getting choked out by michael myers so that should be funny to watch uh but other than that guys you guys take care peace